This is St. Mary's School for Children with the Stigmata. Episode 9, The Visitor. Well, it's good to see that my paranoia about being stalked isn't completely irrational. I was starting to worry. Nothing? Really? I mean, I wouldn't call this stalking, per se. Then what would you call it? I'd prefer to think of this as more of a girl's night in. It's horrifying to think how your childhood sleepovers must have gone. What the hell are you doing? Put that down! Relax, Florence. I'm just opening my bag to show you that I come in peace. Well, don't. I don't know what's in there. I brought donuts. I'll even share them if you put the knife down. I'm serious. Don't touch it. All right, all right. Here, why don't I just put the bag on the floor? See? Now there's nothing in my hands. Where'd you get them? The donuts. Krispy Kreme. Was the hot light on? Yeah, but that was a few hours ago. Slide the bag to me. (laughs) Seriously? Now. Please. Mmm. I haven't had donuts in years. Me neither. Aside from the two I ate in the car on the way over, there's wine in there too if you want to crack it open. It's got a screw top, I think. I wasn't sure you'd have a bottle opener or not. I mean, it's not good wine, but it's very okay. Enough. How did you find me? I snagged your IP address from Facebook and used it to track your location. You can do that? Honestly, I just googled how to do it, and then I followed the instructions. Not really hacker material over here. What the actual fuck? Hey, I agree. Really shouldn't be that easy to do. No, I mean what the actual fuck are you doing in my house, Inez? Why did you come here? I already told you. I want to hear the rest of your story. And that's all? That's all. And you couldn't just call me? Come on. A phone? Look how easily I was able to find you here, in the middle of nowhere. Do you think I want that to happen to me, too? Why? Who's looking for you? You never know who's looking for you, Florence. That's the problem. You're getting blood on my floor. So are you. Should we maybe go- No. Stay right here and don't move. I will. You have my word. (laughs) Like that means anything. You have a nice place here. Really quiet. Yeah, most of the time. I like the decor. It's very, um, shabby chic. Or are we calling this look rustic now? I call it hideous cabin, but I'll be sure to send your compliments to the Women's Guild at St. Vinny's. Can I help you with anything? Are you fucking kidding me? Here. A towel for your back. Thanks. And some gauze. I hate to ask, but would you mind? Uh, It's just, it's, it's hard to reach. Seriously. Please. Fine. Lift up the back of your shirt. Is it bad? Compared to what? Ah, Good point. Oh, ouch! Stop moving. Sorry. So, this is awkward. Yes, it is awkward to have to take care of your stalker's stigmatic wounds in the middle of your living room on the night that they broke into your house, but hey, I hear variety is the spice of life. I didn't mean to scare you. Bullshit. You think I did this on purpose? I don't know, because I don't know you. At all. You know me a little. Not well enough for whatever this is. Fine. Believe whatever you want to believe. But if I know anything about us St. Mary's girls... Ouch! What the hell, Florence? Oops, sorry. As you were saying? I was saying, if I know anything about us St. Mary's girls, it's that we have a really hard time trusting people. Mmm, shocking. And I think if you knew I was coming to see you, you'd have panicked and maybe even left. So I planned this unannounced visit. That's what we're calling this? An unannounced visit? What would you call it? A home invasion. Always looking on the bright side. Also, you don't know that I would have panicked. Or left. Call it a hunch. Well, you're wrong. Talk about not trusting people. Okay, fine. Let me ask you then. If you had known I was on the way, 
you wouldn't have worried at all about who I was bringing or <laughs> who might be following me. You would have welcomed me here with open arms and like, I don't, I don't know, the couch made up for me to sleep on. You would have stayed put and made a cheese board or something instead of getting on the phone to spill your guts to St. Vinny's to get you to the nearest safe house. I thought so. Well, you're all patched up, which means you're ready to hit the road. As fun as this visit has been, I'm sure you're eager to go right back to your car and get the fuck out of here. Unfortunately, that wasn't really what I had in mind. Jesus Christ, will you please just take the hint? I actually think it's time that we St. Mary's girls start sticking together. <laughs> what? Are you calling the police? Of course not. I'm calling the church. I'm done with this shit. Fine. Call them. See if I care. The number is in. All I have to do is hit this little green button, and I'll tell them everything. God, don't you understand? They already know everything. That's why I'm here. No, you're here because I'm an idiot who joined your stupid Facebook group. Okay, well, at least it's private. Unlike your podcast, some people think it's fake. But the ones that know it's not are pissed. <laughs> Newsflash? Considering anyone who would be pissed off knows where I live, I'm not sure there's as many people who give a shit as you think. The only person I'm afraid of right now is you. I'm the least of your problems, Florence. So what then? You're here to save me? No. Then what do you want? I just want to hear your story. You can't be serious. And I want you to hear mine. <sighs> Why? Because you're angry and hurt and you've lost your whole life to this. Whatever this is. And? And so have I. And I want to do something about it. Don't you? I am doing something about it. My show... That everyone thinks is fiction. Okay, be honest, Florence. After everything that's happened, after everything that's been taken from you, isn't there anything you want back? No. Come on. There must be something. Timothy. Timothy. Huh. See, I knew it. I knew there was at least one thing. Fuck you. So, you finally decide to break out the wine. What, you're not worried that I'm trying to poison you? No, it still seems about 50-50, but at this point, I just don't care anymore. Besides, I already ate a donut. Here. Are these jelly jars? I only put out the best for company. I am flattered. Even if it feels more like a hostage situation. Should we make a toast? To what? How about we toast to surviving for this long? Works for me. To surviving for this long? To surviving for this long. So, if I tell you the rest of my story, do you promise you'll leave? If you want me to, I promise. I will get in that economy rental car outside and go. All right. Where do you want me to start? Right where you left off. I've been listening this whole time. Thank you for listening to this episode of St. Mary's School for Children with the Stigmata. If you enjoyed this chapter, please subscribe on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts so you don't miss a single episode. If you'd like to support this podcast so we can keep making more episodes, click the support link in the show notes. To learn more about this and all our projects, visit our website, newgirlpictures.com. 